Welcome back to the last game of the day for the week two of NASA, technically. The scheduling is weird. Not going to get into it. But here, we got Threezy Breezy here. What's up, everybody? How we doing? Excited for our last game today. Last match, we've got uh, Snacking and Smackin' versus PLX. So excited to see who's going to take this one. Uh, Lumos, what are your thoughts about this match? I'm a I'm a big fan of Platinum Exclusive. They got Ken Clam the Goat. Everyone everyone knows Ken Clam the Glizzard the Goat. What do you gotta say? Is that uh, they got Zay Forever who's been streaming a lot. He's been pretty honestly like an interesting up and comer probably in the league. And we'll have to see if he can perform or if he's even playing honestly. But if he can perform today. Yeah, I think I'm also gonna have to give the edge to Platinum Exclusive here. But Smacking and Smacking no. Uh... No, no easy opponent here. We've got obviously the man himself, Ariel Snack, at the helm. Uh, gonna be a tough match. Looking to see what the picks or bands will be. Obviously, definitely um, with Ken Clam and Zay Forever, really like the stars of that squad. So on that Juliet and that Amy, um, but but semi flexible on other picks as well. So interesting to see um, if we're gonna have uh, other other our new maps played today. I mean, Inky is always a high priority for fun, so we'll probably see it at least once. As we will be into this first game, and the map will be uh, loading always takes too long. You know, we love spectator tool. It will be okay. Inky's. Welcome everybody. Surfs up, Inky Splash Zone. Yeah, we love Inky Splash Zone. It's a very fun map with a lot of fun stuff happening. We we might see a Amy here. It is a Bad and bending pick as the uh, roster for Stack and Smack game is a. Uh, I don't recognize any of these names respectfully. Yeah, well, I, I actually do. We've got Aromatic Mint Tea uh, and Renequade, both both names I've seen in my ranked games. Uh, you know, pretty good, pretty good players, as we see here. All subs, I'm hearing. So we've got a full sub roster for Smackin' and Smackin', Smackin' and Smackin', excuse me, this week. As you see here, Aramag Minty on the Juliet, and then Era for Renegade got that rune banned out. No ban from the side of Smackin' and Smackin'. And, smackin'. and then Wadi Wawa gonna opt for the Dubu here. Yeah, and on the opposite side, it's a Dubu Juno Asher for the side of Platinum Exclusive. Very interesting comps on both sides here, as Ken Clam will be on the Juno, and it's Drew on the Asher. Yeah, no Zay Forever with us today, so I believe it's a Pineapple and Ken Clam starters for this roster, so I think Drew to sub in um, on the Asher. So I think Juno is the better midfielder than Era on this map, the most. Yeah, especially on this map. I mean, there is some consideration that, oh, Snack and Smack can get a really early goal, but it is a consideration that Era is a really good pick against both the Asher and the Dubu, so it might make a difference. That's true, Era. They're also to enable the Juliet, a striker that has some difficulty on this map, but with that size and speed increase, uh, might enable Aromatic Minty to perform some uh, quick strikes and quick goals. You see here, they have the barrier early in this second point, and now just trying to get it in. Three players back here for the side of Platinum Exclusive. Yeah, and you see that there's a goalie swap there. The water cannon comes out, not able to actually capitalize on that, as it's a pineapple, actually kills the Juliet with the Dubu dash. And now they're trying to punish this 2v3 as Renekwe is playing in this midfield, trying to find anything, but Drew finds the goal game. Now, the water cannon for Platinum Exclusive is up. They will pop it here. The dash rush is enough, and Drew got the kill on the goalie a while oh. back, and he's just able to score it. Yeah, surfs up there for Platinum Exclusive, taking out two members of Snackin' and Smackin', and we've got ourselves a 1-1 in our first set. Yeah, very big kill on a Wadi Wadi Wa earlier on, able to secure that goal pretty easily after the Dubu is down, but the goal came early, is secured by the side of Smackin' and Smackin'. Water Cannon comes out, doesn't really do much, but to buy some space for Aromatic T to find an angle, can't really find much good Tofu Fortress from Pineapple, finds the player. Yeah, Renekwe just trying to work it up here. Now comes that Maelstrom, Minty just looking again to striking distance, now enlarged, but the airship sends her to guards as Renequade is taken out. So 2v3 now for the side of Platinum Exclusive. Just trying to take this barrier, but the beam Ooh. is coming out and surfs up there. Another KO just in this first set alone. The beam taking out everybody here. 
Yeah, and now it makes it a 3v3 for the side of Smack. I mean, 3v2 for the side of Smackin' and Smackin'. And the Era Beam finds the goal. Yep, nice beam there from Renegade. Finds that shrink on Pineapple and finds the core for the score. As we see uh, Wadi Wawa giving him a debut thumbs up there. Yeah, and Smackin' and Smackin' are looking to pull up this first set, which could be very important to get the awakenings they need as they get a kill, but they also lose a Golgi at the same time. Pineapple should be able to clear as the water cannon comes out and buys even more time. Corthup comes out, isn't able to clear as the it's picked up by King Clem Slime. Drew is now respawned. King Clem in the 1v1, trying to find the oh. angle. Almost cooks it up, but just a little off there. But Mint T with the dash punch, Corflip finds a kill. Yeah, but you see here King Clem. Charging forward with that Juno dash. Can't quite find the core, though. Pineapple with the stun, but won't deter Minty, who's looking low on stagger, but determined to find the skull as the the beam comes in. And, oh, surfs up again. We find another kill. So it's a 2v3. Uh, platinum exclusive left to defend. As you see, Aromatic Minty with the dash punch, and they find the goal here. The first set goes to Snacken and Smacken. Yeah, the water cannon is making a big difference in this game, finding a lot of kills and Snacken and Smacken. Are able to get this catalyst onto their Juliet. Yeah, Insane. should be catalyst here for the Juliet. Um, probably prime time gonna go to that Dubu. Interesting to see here whether it'll be Asher or Era who lands this prime time. Or be. sorry, this rapid fire, I should say. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be Asher with that denial. Also pretty good on that striker. Yeah, and he was for the era, so Snacking and Smacking are getting a lot of energy awakenings. Everyone knows how powerful they are, but there is a bit more damage inside of Platinum Exclusive with this Rapid Fire and with this Deadeye on the Juno. Yeah, Deadeye on Juno, not not too weak. Kind of similar to that Hot Shot. Makes that core speed up a fair amount and also hits like a truck, as you see there. Minty taking a bit of damage, but so is Drew now, looking really low on Stagger. But Minty, again, just the Brawler's going out of here, Lumost. Yeah, Minty gets focused down, barely dodges that Arc Beam there. Now Drew is trying to pass it forward to Chem Clan, but then Pineapple is not able to save. They lose the goal gate, the smack and the smack, and now have this water cannon play through. They don't really play the angle right, and they lose the goal gate, but their water Whoa! cannon comes out first. The water cannon gets a kill on both sides. Wadi Wadi Wa is dead. Pineapple is able to clear, and Red Quad was just a little too far forward. Yeah, and Wadi Wawa just takes a dive right into Inky Splash Zone there. Surfs up for you, and now it's 1-0 to zero for the side of Platinum Exclusive in the second set. Unfortunate water cannon there just trades kills and it was a little too much. Now Minty tries to find the angle, but the Joker Fortress is able to clear. Tries to get this forward, but T is still staggered in the midfield. Actually grabs the orb, but Drew gets the goal gate with that arc beam. Now they have the advantage and they just score before the water cannon even comes out. Yeah, Drew there just with dominant pressure, backed up by Ken Clam as Pineapple worried about Minty, so just the, the forward duo there striking first, and it's going to be 2-0 in the set as we go to this final final goal, perhaps, for Platinum Exclusive, looking to take this one um, in rapid succession. As you see Drew there, find that early goal gate. It's going to be huge as they light the beam there, and there goes Minty. Bye-bye. Drew with the primary into that core flip, sending uh, Wadi Wawa off the map and flying that score for our third goal. This is a inky splash zone moment if I've ever seen one. One to one in sets. Platinum exclusive is coming back, and they probably will grab. Oh, Saxon and Saxon are built different. Very interesting pick here. Yeah, as you see here, the era hovering the aerials, though. So interesting to see here what uh, Drew will take, opting for that built different for more damage. And Stax is ignored um, from Renequay there. So probably will go on Dubu, who takes Twin Drive instead. So Stax now falling to Juno at fifth year. Ken Clam gonna take that option, and then we see Fire Up. Uh, from Minty, and I believe they have Catalyst, so uh, this should be a massive energy uh, favor uh, for the side of Smackin' and Smackin'. Yeah, they got more energy, but Platinum is gonna just got more general awakenings. We'll have to see how effective energy... I mean, energy is really good, but maybe on this map it's a little different with how effective that water cannon can make some clears as Rue gets to the goal gate really early on and now trying to just find it past. Water cannon comes out, gets the court forward. They can't find the angle to score, though. Juno Slime hits it forward, can't pass it to Drew. Good interception by, by the era. 
Yeah, just working it through the midfield here, trying to find uh, that that barrier as the side of Platinum Exclusive already have cracked theirs open. So, going to have that water gun, but they are taken out by that Maelstrom, I believe. And now, Renequade with Core Flip flips it up, but blocked by Kenglam TV in the middle of their Juno dash. But now, surfs up like the beam. Renequade's got the core, just trying to find it forward. But Drew doing an excellent job of blocking. And now, it's Pineapple who's respawned for the side of Platinum Exclusive. But Drew finds a nice angle after that slam from Kenglam, redirects it there, and... Platinum exclusive, take a goal lead. Yeah, great stuff there. Just as I thought the pressure was waning, you actually had Platinum exclusive there win that 2v3 and almost put it in with Pineapple doing next to nothing there. So, well done. As you see here, the the uh, size increase for Mint T from that arrow beam just allows them to punch it into that barrier. And now, looking looking doomed here for Platinum exclusive, although they do clear. Just trying to find it forward, trying to find it up into this uh, last barrier. Ken Clam working with Drew, Drew can't quite find that barrier. Lots of Juno Slimes coming down now. Minty, though, with possession, trying to find it against Pineapple. Stalled out in yeah. the midfield for now. Just barely stalled out in the midfield, but the Water Cannon is coming back up. Can't climb. He's still clearing this midfield, though. That punch comes down, not able to find much, but the, <laughs> the Water Cannon finds a kill on Drew. And a Roma trying to finish this off, oh! and the Temple Fortress was a bit of a doobie wall in the opposite direction. And Black and Sack and the Smack and take a goal. Yeah, unfortunate. Tofu Fortress notoriously uh, indefensible. Just just sneaks that core pass there from Renequade, and then Pineapple just can't clear it. So going to be a goal there for the side of uh, Snacking and Smacking. But I mean, I would say that Platinum Exclusive does have the advantage here. They were looking better, especially after that second set. But interesting to see who will take this one. Yeah, interesting to see as Ken Clam looks for the goal gate. He does get it with that dash strike. Wadi Wadla able to get the clear though, but Water Cannon comes out, not able to hit actually anything as Ken Clem is trying to coordinate and he gets it to Drew with that arc beam, just scores it. Yeah, the arc beam there from Drew and they had lit the beam, so both Mint T and Renequade isolated on that other side, leaving Wadi Wawa behind and just not able to save it in that 2v3. Does have core flip now though. Uh, like we noted, the energy is on the side of Smackin' and Smackin'. Yeah, but behind him exclusive. They have a, they have two goals here. They're on set point, and they get the goal gate here. Water cannon is up. They will pop it. They'll get some punish, but Drew almost has the flip. He just honestly wins the strikes, but barely not. What a save! Wadi Wawa able to get the clear, but he will oh. die to the bass splitter, and the Juno slimes will hit it straight to Drew, who just secures the set. Yeah, the airship sends its regards there for Wadi Wawa. No elusive, not able to prevent that KO and. Platinum Exclusive taking this third set, going up 2-1 to one here, set score. As we see a big fish online, this might be a very, very big Asher here. Almost. Yeah, there's also Quick Strikes as well. We'll probably do, we'll take the big fish and just have a little more pressure on the field, a little more presence. You see here, Ken Clam denying that cast to last from Era, um, who's going to opt instead for the Orb Ponderer. We see 1-2 Punch Denial from Pineapple. And so quick strikes will be had by Aromatic Minty instead. Yeah, interesting ponder for the Red Quad here. Probably thinking about a deny, but honestly, we'll have to see if it makes a more impact out of that. As Red Quad, I mean, Minty gets the Golgate really early on, but Drew gets the kill. They get the Golgate. Golgate trade. Water Cannon comes out. Kang Clam gets a kill, a double kill. And now Drew just has to win against that, uh, Minty, but Minty holds it down with the flip. Wadi Wawa is back up and he's able to clear, but now Drew, with the arc beam, forces it through the Tofu Fortress. Yeah, nice defense there for Minty, just holding until Wadi Wawa respawns, but unable to hold for long as Drew just in their face, gets a kill, does some damage, and uh, just really good stuff here from Drew with that double size, really hard to stop. Yeah, just a little unstoppable. Even when he's slowed, he's just normal. I mean, even when he's arrow beamed, he's just normal size, honestly. As he keeps on looking for his kills, he almost has the core flip here. He's just going to try to strike it forward. Has the angle, but good defense by Wadi Wawa. Defense against that core flip, but he will die to the pass splitter. Mint T does get the goal gate with their flip of their own, but Drew is just okeying them. Gets the goal gate, and Gen Clan with a great dash finds the goal. Yeah, they can't stop Drew here. Just unrelenting offense, um, or just punching Wadi Wawa in the face. You pick your poison, but... Asher, notoriously weak striker, and when they land that primary with these two sides awakenings, it hurts, Lumos. It hurts a lot, and it just kills when it probably shouldn't, <laughs> as Drew will get a goal gate again, and now they're just trying to coordinate the, the 
Water cannons and cares the positioning for the core for Druid to just strike it in easily and platinum exclusive take this first game. Yeah, we've got a great goal there. They just light the beam, they find that first barrier, and then it's just all over from that point. Uh, Drew there with a massive size, massive arc beam, and just can't stop it there from snacking and smacking. Yeah, I just can't stop it. And Platinum Exclusive will take the 1-0 lead, and honestly, it was looking a little dicey there in the first set, but they're able to bring it back, and just look at the KOs from Drew. Six KOs on an Asher. Yeah, 21k damage to go along with it. As you see there, Wadi Wawa doing his best to hold it down. 87 redirects, most in the lobby, but Ken Clam obviously there working that core control with those 27 shots. Drew with that damage, those KOs, 23 shots of his own, just really working that core in there and finding that damage, finding those KOs. Um, too much pressure there for uh, Snacking and Smacking to handle. Yeah, just a little too much pressure, but we'll have to see if they can bounce back in game two. Snacking and smacking, they had a couple good sets there. They had a couple good points there, but Platinum Exclusive were just able to carry on in the long game and able to win that. Yeah, as we load in here now to our next match, our next game, excuse me, on Amy's app. So interesting to see what teams will opt to do about the Rasmus. You already see Renekwade hovering it um, and Minty on that Juliet. That is considered to be one of the strongest uh, forward comps on this map, is it not, Lumos? Yeah, it's usually what people pick here is they, they pick the Rasmus Juliet, you get the death touch value from Rasmus, and the dash punch can kill even more. As Atlas and Rune are the bands, they want to probably run the uh, Rasmus Mirror as Luna comes out from Platinum Exclusive. Yeah, you see the, the Rasmus is locked in, but the Luna on the other side for Platinum Exclusive. So that is, it's a Pineapple Signature Striker. I remember playing against them in beta, in launch as well, just playing that, that Luna goalie. So interesting to see here. Um, how that damage will come out. As you see, Mir is here from the forward duos. Rasmus, Juliet, the only difference being in it, Kai on Wadi Wawa versus It's a Pineapple's Luna. Yeah, Pineapple's Luna is well known. And I played it with it a bit in solo queue. And honestly, he can make the differential here. But we'll have to see if Wadi Wawa is able to keep off this Luna pressure. As you see here, we've got our... Looks like a glass cannon start, if I'm not mistaken. Almost all of these strikers opting for that training. Uh, as you see here, it's a pineapple dashing in, already showing the pressure of that Luna forward. Just too much Ooh. pressure, but it is cleared by Wadi Wawa behind the barrier. What an angle gets the clear, and now Wadi Wawa has a level advantage as Renquad is trying to combo to get his goal gate, but Pineapple is able to find the clear. The R comes out, the Crater Maker buys some space. Renquad is low, Mint is half health. And Pineapple keeps on getting these clears with these strikes. He keeps on keeping it away, but it finally, the goal gate finally goes down. Flame Flurry comes out, doesn't find much. Drew is trying to get it clear. Dash Punch comes out, not able to find the kill. Now Pineapple going forward, not able to find the core. Good Barrage finds the defense. Minty is low, has no elusive, but they're not looking for the kill, and he just wins the strike. Yeah, Renekwade there as well with that melee range Rasmus hook to find that KO simultaneously. Air Mac Minty does find that strike into the bottom corner, so that's going to be 1-0 here for Smackin' and Smackin'. Yeah, Smackin' and Smackin'. Able to get an early advantage, but Pineapple will scale eventually as Renekwater is looking for this goal gate. Not able to find a good dash punch by some space. Strikes are coming now. Renekwad has a chance here. Pineapple is still able to save, but barely not. Minty is able to just dash forward and get it. Death Touch comes out. Renekwad gets a kill. Waiwala has the clear, and Pineapple is low. KO, <laughs> then Ting comes out and Minty is looking for Pineapple. Just yeah, Pineapple pine looking kill. really low here. And almost gets KO'd there on that goal from Minty. Great stuff there. As you see, it's 2-0 for Smackin' and Smackin'. Yeah, Smackin' and Smackin' are looking dominant out of there. They're finding more kills with the Death Touch. They're finding more damage than the Luna. And it's just working out so far. Renekwad does get half health pretty early on in this set. I mean, this goal. Yeah, Wadi Wawa unable to keep up with the pressure from Drew, and in comes Pineapple, though. Just soaring in with that Luna boost and does find the core control and the goal there, along with Drew. Yeah, three people just crashed the net, and it was too much for Wadi Wawa to be able to defend. Platinum Exclusive are not going out of this first set without a fight, as Ken Clam looks for this first, uh, looks for the goal gate early. Drew almost has the core flip. Crater buys some space. Core flip from Drew. Denied with the Flame Flurry, and he finds the kill as well. Mint Tea. Great. Counterpunch against the pressure from Platinum Exclusive. 
Yeah, Minty there finds that ultimate into that Rasmus hook from Renekwade, so good synergy there as they do crack open that barrier. Now Minty does have that core flip, so the side platinum exclusive looking to get it away, but Minty is in there just trying to look for the core. Struck away from Drew though for now, but Minty Ooh. finds that KO with that core flip and just dashes it in for security. Yeah, insult to injury, finds the gill with the core flip before just striking it in and sacking the smack and will win this first set. Renekwad gets first pick on the Awakening Draft and this could be big. Indeed, indeed, as we see a built different here, gonna opt for that um, on the side of Snackin' and Smackin', but you did see Platinum Exclusive win, or excuse me, lose that first set last game, but then finish strong with a 3-1 uh, set score, so interesting to see here whether this draft will allow them to do the same, as you see a prime time on Luna, so we've got more rockets, but less damage, Lumos. Yeah, I mean, but the rockets on a 5 second cooldown, so with how... It's going to be interesting to see how much more damage effectively it is. As Rasmus is getting this Monumentalist, which could make a difference, those Death Touches are going to be even more Death Touchy, question mark, and we'll have to see if that will make a difference. <laughs> yeah, those Monumentalist hooks are going to be quite large there. As you see, Pineapple almost get hooked, but it's back-to-back -back KOs here, and now there are four Strikers on the field. Welcome to Amy's app, ladies and gentlemen, as we have Ken Clam trying to work it up. Pineapple with that save boost Ooh. forward, though, does find the core to Ken Clam for that barrier. Yeah, good. They get the goal barrier advantage in the 2v2, and now Kangtime almost gets killed out, but he's still alive. He needs to pass it down to Drew, who has a flame flurry, who finds the kill on Wadi. The death touch finds another kill, and it's pretty simple after that. Yeah, just double KO there on the side of Platinum Exclusive, really taking advantage there. You had a, uh, a nice hook there from Kang Clam, and then Drew just found that KO on Wadi Wawa on the net. Yeah, just insane kill from Drew. Buys them that advantage to get this goal. It looks like Platinum Exclusive want to repeat what happened last game as they get the goal gate again and they get a goal even faster after that. Yeah, Pineapple, really nice boost. Weaves it in there, finds that core, finds the barrier, and then just the forward duo of Drew and Ken Clam going to use that advantage um, and find that goal. And now Pineapple here almost has the flip as you see Drew trying to get this goal gate, trying to win the strikes. Pineapple has the flip defensively. Is gonna use it, gets it out, gets it for the Drew. Drew needs to get this goal. We have the rising side from Renekwad finds the kill though, and now Pineapple has to defend 2v1. Can't really defend the goal gate, but T is low. They can maybe look for the kill, but Drew, nice strike angles, buy some time. Can Clam is back up. They almost get the kill. Minty is staggered, but they're still alive. Can Clam can't find the kill still. Now Renekwad has a chance in this 1v1 against the Luna, but good clearing angles, buy some time. Drew boost comes forward, not able to find the goal gate. Drew almost has four flip. A little dangerous here, but they're able to find the clear. Giga goes wide. Renequad is low. Core flip used just for damage, and they might look for the Renequad kill as Pineapple continues to clear. Yeah, just Pineapple really working to keep it away from Minty here as Wadi Wawa with a close clear, but it's Minty in front of the net. They deploy the roll punch, and now there's a KO again from the side of Snacking and Smacking down to Renequad up to Minty, and nice passing there from the forwards to score that goal. Yeah. I mean, it was a great first defense from Mint's Pineapple, but it was just, there's not much you can do once your Juliet dies and they just collapse with three. Now, it's a Pineapple, I mean, Pineapple Exclusive are looking to close out this set. They still have, they're still only one goal off to change the set as they get the goal. Oh, they don't, barely just don't get the goal gate there, but they finally get the goal gate here, and now they just need to score the goal. Yep, Renekwe just looking to keep it away from Drew, though, and Wadi Wawa forced to use that flip. Hook comes out, not going to quite find that KO there, and now Pineapple sends it forward. Oh, just barely missing that boost. It's going to go up here to Ken Clam. Interrupted, though, by that hook, but Renekwe pays for it with their life as they do get KO'd by Drew, so now it's a 2v3, Ooh, and they clean. just can't save it. Nice passing from Ken Clam. Finds Drew, who finds that top corner. Clean angles gets the set for Platinum Exclusive. They want to repeat the 3-1 again. And Drew, with this first pick, can get the Catalyst again. Yep, that Catalyst is going to be coming through here, most likely the side of Aromatic Mint Tea and Snackin' and Smackin'. So, interesting to see here what uh, the Kai will go. Excuse me, for Platinum Exclusive. Um, that'll be for Drew. So, now we have Wadi Wawa with the Specialized Training. Um, and Tempo Swing going to be picked up here uh, for the side of Platinum Exclusive. Replicator on the Luna, playing for that Orbeus build while the Stagger Spider comes out. Poor Minty. I have an interesting draft here. I think you had Twin Drive um, on Renekwade to deny that Luna, so opting for that Replicator instead, maybe hoping that... Oh, they already do have that uh, 6 or Ponderer stack, so opting for the Ponderer instead of the Glass Cannon, um, and it's going to pay off for them here, Lumos. Yeah, the Orbeus build will probably come to fruition. It's already halfway there, and Pineapple just keeps on getting these clears as Gangplan 
They're trying to collapse on this goal gate. Wadi Wadi Wah. Good barrage. Buys some time. Death Touch is able to do the cross up, but Wadi Wawa is still able to find the clear. And Pineapple dies. He gets the goal gate with his death. Renequad gets the kill with the death touch. He's done 1v3. I don't know how Drew saves this. They're passing it in between and they find the goal eventually. Yeah, nice double KO there. I think from Renequad solo just finds that primary on the dash, on the boost there from Pineapple, and then finds that hook as well. So great stuff there from Renequad. Just kind of solo, solo carrying that point there on the side of Snacking and Smack. Yeah, very big point there, but that's a lot of effort just to get one goal. And now Drew has core flip aggressively. Ken Clem tries to get it forward. Pineapple gets the goal gate, but Drew gets found out. He loses the core flip, and Mati can't get the goal gate. What a save from Pineapple. Buys a lot of time. Four seconds on the... Holy, what an angle. Ken Clem with the death touch is able to just score it. Yeah, Ken Clam dimes it up. Pineapple inadvertently dashes in there, burns that core flip from Wadi Wawa, and... Just there to strike the core in at the last second. Insane Blake England was able to secure that goal. And Platinum Exclusive are looking for a good uh, a missile. Finds the clear there as Gru gets found out by the dash punch. You see there a counter KO though coming for the side of Exclusive. So 2v2 again here. Ken Clam just looking to keep it away from that core flip on Renequade. Trying to find a solo score here, but the barrage from Wadi Wawa coming out. Dash punch here from Drew, looking to find this KO and forcing out that core flip from oh. Wade, who does find that KO, but at the cost of their own life, Pineapple punishes with that boost. And now it's a 2v1 here, three members of either team dead. And now Wadi Wawa just looking to clear, is finding these angles perfectly off the bumper, but can't win every strike where Ken Clam does find it in with that secondary. Can't quite score, but now it's Drew with the dash punch cleared away from Renequade. The elusive divvy one happens. Very interesting turn of events there as Gangland not able to find it and Renequad gets the goal gate. Pineapple does have core flip though. Flame Flurry comes out, Drew has core flip again. But he, he just elects to save it and gets killed by Min T with his own Flame Flurry. Now Pineapple dashes forward, core flips, trying to find the angle he does. He slots it in and Pineapple puts them to, to set point. Yeah, great play there from Pineapple, recognizing that, hey, I'm down a man, I've got a shot to score, I have my core flip, gonna boost up, burn that barrage and slot that one in bottom corner. Well done there from Pineapple. Yeah, well done from Pineapple. As now it's a little dangerous there. There's two there, but he's able to clear, and the crater takes Minty low. They can maybe find the kill. A little bit of missed abilities, and he grabs the orb, so he will be safe for the time being. But Ken Clam won't be. He gets hit with a death touch, and now it's a 2v3. They get a goal gate, and Stagon is back and are looking to close this out. Corsal comes out from Wadi, and now they can't find the angle. Two seconds on the Rasmus. Minty is low. Damage comes out. They will find the kill with the death touch, but Drew now has Core Flip aggressively. They can't get the goal gate just yet. Trying to just win those strikes. Pineapple gets the goal gate with the help of Kang Clam. Now Core Flip from Drew. Good. Slots it to the bats to Kang Clam. And Kang Clam hits the goal. Yeah, just great passing here from the forwards of Platinum Exclusive. Could have opted for a shot there, but instead dimes it up. Uh, right to Kang Clam is Drew. And now Pineapple, the MVP here. And oh my, we've got some Luna Biss on the board here, Lumost. Yeah, there's die and extra special for the Luna. I believe the extra specials. I don't. Know. He goes to dancer. He believes in Orbius. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take a look here at our stacks of dancer and ponderer. Obviously, with that replicator looking to make uh, both their forwards super super fast. You see a big fish here on Juliet. So um, looking looking bright for the side of snacking and smacking here on this draft, but. Tough to deal with that Orbius build, Lumost. Yeah, it's. I believe it is full Orbius, 10 stacks on both. Oh, 7 stacks only. But it's almost 10 stacks on both from Pineapple. And that's just a lot of pressure when you have to dodge Ken Clam's hooks and everything Julius throwing out at you. We'll have to see if Pineapple can get those 10 stacks eventually, as he will not lose the goal gate just yet. He does pick up one more orb, so he's up to 8. And Drew and Ken Clam are now trying to get this goal gate. Pineapple dashes in, secures the goal gate. Looking for the goal, dash punch. Finds a bit of damage, but not much else. Again, Drew, what a strike. Hits it through basically three people and gets it through. Yeah, and every time Pineapple uses their boost, they just find value, right? You had them boosting up there in that kind of 2v3, equalizing it to a 3v3 in that clump, finding that barrier, and then Drew just finds that strike. As you see a Bomba coming out here, um, even though they don't really have a lot of offensive awakenings, finding a kill with that Luna Nuke, and now it's a 3v2 on the side of Platinum Exclusive. Yeah, and now Pineapple is grabbing those orbs. I believe he's at 10 stacks now. And look at just the pressure and Drew and Ken Clam are They just can walk everywhere. Wadi Wawa has no clear angles. And it is 2-0 match point for Platinum Exclusive. 
Yeah, that Orbeez build really, really paying dividends here for Pineapple, just powering up their forwards, and Drew just pops their core flip early, though, and Kanklam punishes Renegade's positioning with that hook, and now you see them take the barrier, but at the cost of their own, Pineapple picks up that orb flying quickly. Ken Clam finds that strike, finds that Rasmus Pendulum Swing primary to stun Wadi Wawa and secure the game. There's only so much you can do against Orbeus, and Platinum Exclusive will take the series 2-0. to Both games 3-1 to one after losing the first set, and they will win the series. Yeah, just a great match there um, from the side of Platinum Exclusive. Almost a mirror of the last one, right? Losing that first set and then just taking the next three in rapid succession. Um, pretty rapid fire rounds. You have them concede, I think, a point total um, in the last three rounds. So uh, really quick work there. Um, as you see these stats coming through, 10 KOs from Renick Wade. So trying their best, a little bit of a, a, a KO difference um, in terms of the Rasmus. But um, you had two from Pineapple, two from Drew. So... Um, KO is not really too much of a factor here. You see more in terms of the redirects coming through. Um, 68 from Drew, 78 from Ken Clam, a bit more core control, a bit more speed, and obviously those orbs, 24 coming in from Pineapple. So um, definitely the right choice to pursue that orb ponderer, orb replicator, and then finally the orb dancer build there, Lumost. Yeah, the Orbius kind of made that last set more of a formality than anything. And Platinum exclusive, well played here. I mean, if you just look at the scoreboard, it looks like Snack and Smackin should have the advantage, but honestly, Platinum Exclusive was just able to capitalize off the KOs better with that Luna Dash. Yeah, it felt like, like I said on, on cast just a few seconds ago, every time Pineapple had that boost up, they were doing things. They were making things happen. Uh, found those barriers, found those goals, even sometimes found those KOs, right? Um, 40 saves as well, so not too different from Wadi Wawa, just finding a lot of value out of that Luna pick. So um, look to see them perform on that in, in future weeks. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they perform in future weeks, but that is the last game that we had today. There was another game that was played, but uh, uh, stuff happened, not viewable. Uh, there was a uh, Quest Esports uh, uh, LP Thieves game that went to the side of LP Thieves. It's on Liquipedia if you want to see it. But yeah, besides that, that is that was our last game for the day. All right, well, GGs, everyone. As always, um, tune in next week. For our next week of NASA matches. Obviously we've got NASL happening too. Uh, I'm 3Z Breezy. And it's been real. Yeah it's been real. Uh, other shout outs is. There's a primetime Tuesday on Tuesday fun fact. There'll probably be a Big Fish Friday. And besides that. I've been Limos and we'll see you next week.